So we recently had some questions on the forums asking about orbit and look at functionality. So I looked up this demo here to show you how to do both of those things. So before we get started, I'm going to show you what we're going to build. So we've got a few things orbiting the green center cube, and we also have the blue cube looking at the orange cube, no matter where it goes. Pretty simple. So all that functionality comes from these two functions that we wrote here. We have orbit and look at. So orbit, we're going to basically solve for what we need out of this x squared plus y squared equals r squared formula. And that translates out to this formula here. I won't go too in depth about what that means, but just know that this is derived from this. And we're going to scale time by orbit speed to make it go faster or slower. And then once we get all that, we're going to use it as an offset from the uh, orbit center's position. And then once we have the x and y that we want, which are you know relative to the orbit center position, then we're going to use that to set the local position of whatever the orbiting unit is. And then we look at we, we use the look at function by using this formula right here. So if you have one position, my, well one vector minus another vector, you're going to get a vector that points from the second vector to the first vector. So we're going to use that here, but to get the direction from the looking unit position to the target unit position. And then we're going to use that to get a rotation that we can move the, um, in this case, the blue cube. We can rotate the blue cube to look where we need it to be. We're going to use that by using the quaternion.look function, and we're going to pass it the direction that we got, which is the direction pointing from the look position, from the look unit position to the target unit position. And then we're also going to pass it up because, you know, it's just the way the quaternions work. And up, we're going to get that from here. It's up in the z direction. And then we're going to use that to set the, lo set the rotation of the looking unit to look where we need it to be. So in practice, we're going to take those functions and we're going to use them down here. Move this so you can see everything. All right, so we're going to get the time, because a lot of these rely on time. So we're going to use that. We're going to get the stingray.world.time from simpleproject.world. And we're also going to have the up vector specified again as up in the z direction. So we're going to set some uh, information for each of the different pieces of our little demo here. The center box, we're just going to set its position. And then we're going to, yeah, we're going to set the position. And then the orange box is going to be orbiting it. So we need to set the orbit center to the center box's position. And we're going to set its radius, and we're going to set its speed. Same thing for the blue box. Again, we're going to have it orbit the center, so on and so forth. Most of them are pretty similar. Now the white boxes, we're going to change its orbit center. Instead of using the center box position, we're going to get the world position of the orange box. So this way, they orbit around the orange box. We're going to get this each frame. So we do that for both of the, um, the white boxes. And now for the blue box, again, same deal. We're going to rotate around the center box at a radius of 10 and an orbit speed of 1. And then we're going to put all that information into four orbit calls, one for each one for each unit. And then we're going to use the look at. We're going to tell the blue box to look at the orange box, and we need to supply the up vector. So all that together gives you what we were looking at before. Now, if I wanted to make you know, a simple change here, for example, let, let's say I want one of those white cubes to be orbiting the blue cube. Be a simple matter. We can take the second white one, and we're going to change this to the world position of the blue box. And this should now move. Yeah. So it's it's a little fun to play with. You can just move around uh, what orbits what and what looks at what, and it's pretty simple. 
And there you have it.